know Jesus, he will fix it for you. Oh, he knows just what, what to do. Oh, whenever, whenever you pray, let him have his way. I know Jesus, he will fix it, he fix it for you. Jesus, he will fix it for you. Oh, he knows just what, what to do. Oh, whenever, whenever you pray, let him have his way. I know Jesus, he will fix it, he fix it for you. Oh, Jesus, he fixed it for me. back to this edition of Minstrels on the Block with Nadine Coker. So Nadine, tell me about your current projects. Well, um, the one that's out right now is called All Things Work Together. Mm -hmm. I wrote that um, song for my sister back in 96 and we did a nine song album yeah. CD um, years ago and it's still going strong. Okay, I'm currently working on a new project called Wait on the Lord. And um, I've been waiting, and it's coming. <laughs> but um, right now, to talk about all things work together, that CD has literally gone all over the United States. It's crossed from here to California, nice. even down to um, South America. Wow. There was a young lady who came here years ago, and somehow or the other, she heard my song. She heard all things work together and she loved it, you know. And so she went in the studio and recorded it in her own language, you know, wow. and, and she took it back to South America with her. And uh, I'm there. They may not know who I am, <laughs> but yeah. I'm there, you know. And she called back 
I think one time after she went back mm -hmm. and she told me, she said, they love your song. And, and they was going on and on and on and on about it, you know. So that gave me, uh, that made me feel good yeah. because the song was actually written for my sister. What happened is that um, my sister Stella was going through a very bad time where she was sick mm -hmm. and the doctors didn't know what was going on with her and she had uh, they didn't know if it was MS they didn't know if it was multiple sclerosis they didn't know anything they were just running tests to find out what's going on with her and so she had a difficult time trying to get up and move and sometimes when you hurt so bad you don't know how to take it after a period of time right. your patience runs short you feel like you know you're just hurting and you just want to stop hurting and sometimes when you go for a good period of time you you lose your sense of you know what I'm tired of waiting on God yeah. and we do we get like that everybody do I mean we all go through a whole bunch of changes our patience runs short and the last thing at one point in time you don't want to hear about God that's yeah. it. You don't. Yeah. You know, and then when you get past that point, you know, you're just where you are. And so it was kind of difficult to talk to her, you yeah. know, about her, about God. And, and, and then she got to the point, you know, she was like, you know, she started asking questions. Why am I going through all these changes? What is up with you? You know, what's up? Give me an answer. Give me something to hold on to. Yeah. You know, and I couldn't say all the things I wanted to say, but I finally got to a point that during that period of time, it was about three months she was going through what she was going through physically. And so the words of the song started coming. And as the words were coming, I would listen to what she was saying because we meet every morning for prayer mm -hmm. no matter what she did pray yeah. she just didn't want anything else about whatever yeah. you know and and she would say you know you know what god i'm tired i'm just tired mm -hmm. why must i go through so much what is going on but he gave me the words and the click to the whole song that really put it together was um you may not touch me see me or feel me feel me but no one thing. I am the Lord and I'm working all things for your good. A lot of people do not see God. Yeah. They don't know, you know, if he's there and you, he's touching you or mm -hmm. whatever because you don't see him physically. Right. But God knows. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you're going through, God knows whatever it is. Right. And you just have to learn how to hold on, not give out. You know, you may give up, but don't give out yeah. when it comes to patience and waiting for him. And so I had the opportunity after I wrote the song and I kind of you know, waited till I got it together. And so she was laying in her bed and I went to the bedroom. I said, can I, can I sing something to you? And she looked at me and she's like, okay, if you must, you know, like <laughs> say whatever and just go. And so I went in and I sung the song to her. She didn't say anything. And especially that part where it says, You may not touch me, see me, feel me, but no one thing. I know what you're going through. Remember, I am the Lord, and I'm working all things for your good. And after I sung that, she didn't say anything. I walked out, and I said, Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> About an hour or two after that, she walked out of the room where she had been in there and she couldn't move. But the song through those words mm -hmm. just healed her. And she got up and she started moving and God started moving in her life. You know, mm -hmm. I guess she needed to hear something. And those were the words that helped her to understand. Yeah. Like everybody else. You don't see God. You may not touch him or feel him, but he knows. Yeah. And it helped her to get through one of, uh, one of the most difficult times physically that she ever gone through. And since that time, that song has been the most requested one. Anybody who ever listened to it, they, I've sung it at um, candlelight visuals, um, different church uh, groups and shows and performances. Mm -hmm. And that's the one song that people can relate to even wow. young people you know you wouldn't think they would be listening to something you know yeah. like that but they they have and and God has truly blessed through that song so 
when it comes to all things we're together that was a good project yeah, for me yeah. you know I write songs dealing with people's lives mm -hmm. you know I think I have the ability through the gospel blues style that God has given me and the, and the voice that he's allowed me to use he's given me a way to relate to people the way they feel mm -hmm. and they may not be able to, to per se say it but say for an example there's a, a song that's on the CD that says you may get by but you won't get away that was the first song I ever wrote oh. and I wrote that for my uncle because I thought he was doing some things he shouldn't have been doing so me being Holy Ghost Junior I was going <laughs> to let him know that you can't do this and get away and so <laughs> I wrote the song you may get by but you won't get away then I realized in times past that you know, you, Nadine, you ain't going to get by and get away either. You know, that's why it ain't good to judge. To leave things alone. Every one of us guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another song on there that I wrote that says, uh, um, What's in you will show come out. And that's when we, we got things against people mm -hmm. that we don't actually really want to say to them. Right. But it's in us. Mm -hmm. And you may not say it but your body language will express what you yeah. really feel you know so what's in you mm -hmm. will show come out and I had you know I had to deal with that because with some girls I was around I couldn't stand them after a period of time but but I put up and we all put up these faces and there's a part in the song um, that lets you know that you know you may not say all that's in your heart and your face may not show all it feels mm -hmm. but your actions and what you, how you act is going to come through and God knows what's yeah. going on. And so I, I had an opportunity to write songs that relate to people. And my soapbox is that I'm a singing evangelist. People may not sit and listen to a 30-minute sermon. Mm -hmm. But he gave me the word of God in such a way that I'm able to sing three to five minutes you remember that before you remember a 45 minute sermon that is and, true and if you didn't get the word no other time you got it that time yeah you know so again um, I have that advantage to do that on this new project that I'm working on um, it's in the making there's one guy who's doing all the music mm. and um, I I appreciate what he is doing and I'm looking forward to that coming out this year and then and again it's called Wait on the Lord and um, one song that's on there is called, um, I think I did it earlier as far as Phoenix City Cable is concerned. Um, I wrote it when I was a kid because of what I experienced. But um, it's one of those songs that it makes you stop and think and say, oh, I don't know if I want to go through all these changes. Anyway, um, it's called Kiss This World Goodbye. And there's other songs that's on there that relates to people. I had experience where um, I got impatient when it came to God, mm -hmm. you know, and it's called He Took It Out of My Heart. And when He, you know, that came through when it, the words of it is like, you know, I started complaining. I got mm -hmm. tired of waiting for you, Lord, to come and see about me. It's like, what's up with you? Why you, why you taking so long? You know, so I kept on asking why you keep on passing like you don't even see me. And then he said, trust in me and learn how to wait. And I said, Lord, I'm trying hard to <laughs> obey. Then he said, all my promises I do keep. I said, I know, but help my unbelief, mm -hmm. you know. You know, then he took it out of my heart. And then I've actually experienced all the songs that's coming up on the CD. And I'm glad I've had a chance to experience, this, experience it because now it gives people a chance to understand where I'm coming from. And if you've ever been in a situation like that where you got in a fix and you got tired of waiting or you're waiting on the Lord or you have to, you know, you're in a situation where you almost kiss this world goodbye. You can appreciate what God has done and what he's doing. And hopefully it will minister to the hearts and the minds of people that's coming. Definitely writing from the heart and from your experiences. That's, that's for me, whether it be rock music or gospel, the truest form of music oh, there yeah. is. Oh yeah. And we'll go to another of Nadine's songs and we'll be right back. <laughs> 